Hello guys, in this video I want to show you my new custom video editing machine that can handle pretty much anything I throw at it. So what I got here with me is my new uh, computer that I got actually as a gift from MSI. Now MSI did not pay me uh, any money to basically to, to do this video nor did they ask me to say anything in particular they they literally just contacted me and they said hey Tom would you want to build a, a kind of a new updated video editing machine with our help and uh, in exchange for your honest opinion uh, we'll pay for all the parts so of course I said sure you know who the hell would turn on uh, an offer like that uh, and uh, I kind of worked closely with their team uh, and they designed uh, a machine that, that's kind of particular to me that would allow me to do the kind of work that I usually do day to day. So uh, a computer that can handle uh, video editing, uh, specifically kind of 4K uh, RAW files. Uh, also a computer that can handle 3D graphics, 3D animation, uh, After Effects, uh, and even uh, do a little bit of, of gaming. Just, yeah, just a little bit of gaming. <laughs> so on with the details. This computer actually has an Intel Core i9-7900X CPU with 10 cores, 20 threads at 3.32 uh, gigahertz. Uh, it also has an X299 SLI Plus motherboard from MSI. Uh, now one nice feature about this uh, are the two fast connections that are USB 3.1 uh, generation 2 and they're type C plugs. Uh, and also type 8 that can run at 8 gigabytes per second. This allows you to plug a fast external uh, drive with let's say all of your video footage on it and edit right off of that without any slowdowns. Uh, now in my tests I actually edited most of the, the footage uh, of, off of my network video drives. Uh, now the one kind of cool thing again about this computer is that it has dual uh, ethernet connections so you can use one let's say uh, for internet and the other one, let's say, to connect to your network or network devices. Uh, and this way, let's say, if you're you know, loading big files over the, the network, uh, it's not going to slow you down at the same time when you're surfing, you know, let's say, the internet or vice versa. Uh, another thing that my new computer has is 64 gigabytes of DDR4 memory from Kingston. Uh, that's the HyperX Predator memory, which is optimized for, actually for Intel 9 series chipset, uh, which results in faster video editing, and 3D rendering, and, and of course, gaming. I would say that these days most of us who are editing uh, 4K video footage uh, need at least a minimum of 32 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, but I would actually recommend going even higher. So that's why I went with 64 gigabytes. Uh, and this computer can actually take up to 128 uh, gigabytes of RAM. Uh, MSI actually invented a new DDR4 boost technology that isolates the memory circuit area so it won't be affected or slowed down by other signals uh, going through the motherboard. Uh, for the GPU, I went with the GeForce GTX 1080 Gaming X graphics card with 8 gigabytes. Now with all of that power uh, and, and electricity running through the system, it's very, very important to keep uh, everything nice and cool because it really it doesn't matter how fast your computer parts are, uh, if the whole system starts getting really hot, then, then the computer will just start slowing down on you. So to cool it off, this PC uh, actually has a water-cooled system from Coolmaster and it's called the Master Liquid 240. Uh, another thing from Coolmaster is actually the Master Case H 500p ATX mid tower case with uh, two huge 200 millimeter fans in the front uh, that are nicely lit up and it also has tempered glass side panels so you can see all of that uh, computer goodness and video editing power uh, working hard. Uh, it's also got a 750 watt uh, power supply from Cooler Master that's nice and powerful. Last but definitely not least is the storage on your PC. Uh, I would even say it's the most important thing because uh, even if you have a super powerful and fast CPU, a lot of memory, but your hard drives can't keep up with that speed, then you're really not going to be using the full capabilities of, of, your, uh, of your machine. So. Uh, I always recommend and tell people that it uh, at least make sure that your operating system is installed on a fast drive like an SSD or a solid state drive. Uh, and even uh, I would recommend that all of your applications are installed on an SSD as well. So here I actually got an Intel SSD 600P with 256 gigabytes of space. Uh, this is an M.2 SSD. I also got another SSD for storing some of my video files and this is an Intel 750 series AIC 400 gigabyte PCI Express though, uh, internal solid state drive. Uh, another drive that MSI included is a Seagate 4 terabyte Barracuda Pro which is supposedly the fastest 3.5 inch hard drive on the market. Uh, now if you wanted to you could even add another M.2 SSD since the motherboard 
has two slats, uh, one of which has an M2 shield that actually dissipates the heat and uh, again helps in performance of your uh, SSDs. Uh, so I've been using this computer for about a month now and uh, actually one thing that really surprised me is just um, uh, just how quiet it is and maybe you guys can can hear it or actually maybe you can hear it right now it, it's literally so quiet even though it has all those fans running uh, that even when I'm like pushing the machine and, and let's say when I was playing like top of the line kind of games with max uh, settings again I could never actually hear the fans kick in or anything like that so it's 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 super quiet which is again good for me because when I'm for example I need to do some voice work or recording voiceovers or things like that in my films uh, and videos then uh, again it's very important to have a machine that runs nice and quiet so what's the actual advantage of building your own custom PC? Uh, I would say first you get to pick the components that really fit your needs. Uh, also, you get to kind of maximize and make the best use of your limited, uh, or maybe for some of you, unlimited budget. Uh, but also, uh, once you build your own PC and you kind of know where everything goes and how it all works, then later on, in case you need to maintain or even update your machine, let's say to make it future-proof, uh, you'll, you'll know how to do it. So I guess what I'm trying to say is just go and actually build your own freaking PC. Uh, and that's actually where MSI comes in really handy, specifically if you've, if you've never built a custom PC before. Uh, they're gonna help you basically along with that process. And if you actually follow the links uh, in the description of this video, you'll find a, a PDF guide uh, that's gonna kind of take you step by step and help you pick the right parts, but also build your uh, your custom PC. Now, another thing that the, the guys from MSI told me about this custom built uh, PC is that it's uh, better suited for 4K video editing uh, or beyond. Uh, because when processing those big video files, the CPU tends to uh, use a lot more electricity, which in turn generates a lot more heat. And the X229 SLI Plus motherboard from MSI has digital power phases, which is able to control the electrical signals more precisely. And that makes the CPU basically run a lot more stable. Now combined with the Cooler Masters Master Liquid 240, that uses both uh, liquid and air cooling, uh, the whole system runs basically at lower temperatures. Also, because it's one closed system, which is fiber-reinforced polymer construction, uh, it means that the whole thing runs completely silent and is able to process videos with higher level Intel CPU. Uh, in case you're wondering, this whole computer uh, costs around $3,000. Uh, and uh, now, is it worth it? Well, you know, to kind of, I guess, answer that, when I was comparing this computer to my uh, computer that I built uh, last, last year for around $2,000, uh, there wasn't that much of a difference. Now, now the main reason is actually because uh, it's really nothing for this computer to edit 4K files. So there was a slight improvement, but it wasn't really even maxing out the CPU, and, and, and I don't even think that the GPU was working at its maximum, basically, capability. So when you're just editing videos or, or 4K raw videos, uh, this computer basically performs about the same as my, my older machine, which means that they both have no problems, uh, basically, dealing with 4K videos. Where the difference comes is when I actually connect the computer to, uh, let's say, two ultra-wide displays, uh, or when I play back the 4K or, or even 6K footage with Lumetri color effects applied, and, and, and I do all of that at full resolution. Here I'm editing 6K Red Dragon footage, uh, and as you can see, it plays it back in real time. Uh, this is at full resolution, uh, and also I have uh, various uh, effects applied to it, uh, like different Lumetri color effects and uh, a lot. Uh, and on top of that, I have two widescreen monitors. Uh, and again, the, the computer is actually able to play it back. Uh, now to render out the 6K Red Dragon footage and convert it to 4K uh, YouTube video, it took uh, about five minutes and 11 seconds for a five minute clip. Uh, when I rendered out the same five minute clip, but to a 1080p resolution, uh, then it took uh, three minutes and two seconds. Uh, definitely this computer is uh, capable of editing and playing back smoothly 4K footage. And as you can see, I can even edit uh, and play back with effects on, on, on top of it, uh, red epic uh, 6K footage. Uh, so I would say you definitely don't have to spend $3,000 on a custom built PC. Uh, like let's say if you're right now, uh, you know, you only care about editing 4K video files. Um, then again, you can build something for 2000 and now even, even less than $2,000. But later on, uh, let's say, you know, if you want to upgrade so you can edit, let's say, 6K or maybe even 8K uh, video files, uh, then again, uh, having a custom-built PC that you know that you can upgrade with time 
is is really the way to go if you want to see more info about my new rig or uh, all, all that helpful information from msi on building your own custom pc uh, then again, make sure you check out those links in the description of the video. Yeah, I'm actually going to be using this PC uh, on, a, on a few more projects in the future uh, where I'm kind of hoping to push it to its limits because to be honest, so far the video editing work that I've done with it uh, hasn't been much of a challenge for the hardware. Uh, but I do have some 3D uh, animation special effects kind of work that coming up. Uh, so I'm kind of curious to see how this machine or, or if this machine can handle it. Uh, so I'll definitely be doing um, sort of an update video about that and also in general just how the computer performs uh, as the time kind of goes on. Uh, so if you guys are interested in that, make sure you check it out. Until then, I guess just keep it cool, have fun. If you like this video, make sure to click thumbs up uh, and share it. And uh, otherwise, uh, I guess I'll just see you guys with my next video. So uh, bye.